Hello, in this video we are going to look at processing the weekly wages for hourly and salary paid employees for week 3 of the tax year. So I go here to the wages icon and that gets me into the weekly wages, monthly, fortnightly or four weekly. So in this particular case I'm going to be processing weekly wages for week 3. So I click the icon to start week 3 and click on OK. All my weekly paid employees will automatically come up. So I select the first one, Patrick Dunphy, and I can see straight away that he's paid a weekly salary. So I have no other inputs to include there unless he has additions or deductions. So I can see here, if I go to additions and deductions, that there's no additions, but there's one deduction there of five euros for sports and social, which will come off his net pay. If I click on the view workings here, I can see how the tax, the USC and PRSI has been calculated for this particular week. There is also a field for local property tax, but in this case it wasn't relevant for Patrick. Just to point out that that five euros was set up in his employee details and that's why it is automatically coming up. If I wanted to include a once-off bonus for this particular week only of 20 euros, I can actually go in here to additions and deductions and just put in my 20 euros and you can see it there being added on to the gross pay. That will just be included for this particular week and won't automatically appear next week. So if you want to just put a once-off additional deduction, you can include it as you're processing the wages. So I'm going to click on save and go to my, click this little red arrow here and go to my next employee. My next employee is Anne Jones, who I set up in a previous video. I can see that there's no basic salary for Anne. She's actually an hourly paid employee. So what I need to do is put in the hours that she's worked for this particular week. So assuming she's worked 39 basic hours, five hours at time and a half, and one hour at double time, Based on the rates I have inputted in her employee details, the gross pay is automatically calculated at €485. Euros. And all the additions and deductions are also incorporated, resulting in a net payment for this particular pay period of €486.85. When I examine this further, I can see that there's a BIK of €45. Euros. So by clicking here, I can see the €45 Euros is for health insurance. I can also see there's an allowable deduction of 15 euros each week. So by going into pension, the 15 euros is automatically deducted from her gross pay. All these additions and deductions were set up in the employee's details and will come up automatically each week. When I go into additions and deductions, I can see that there's a 50 euro travel expenses addition, which is added on here to her net pay because it's a non-taxable addition and there's a four union four euros union dues which is deducted from her net pay because it's a non-allowable deduction or voluntary deduction. So once again I can view the workings for each of the individual taxes and click on save. Okay. I continue for the remainder of the employees and close out of that and click on save. If I want to view pay slips, I can click on pay slips and print them to screen and print pay slips. And I will get to view the pay slip before I actually submit it. So if we go down here to Anne Jones, we can see the pay slip is nicely divided into payments, deductions, and they're all details there and the year to date. That is how you process weekly payroll. Thank you. In this video, we are going to look at how to process illness benefit. So if I click here into week three, one of my employees, Anthony Collins, is on sick, sick leave at the moment. He's receiving 188 euros from the state 
So the company has decided to top up or pay him the difference of his pay. His pay is normally 500 a week. So because he's getting 188 from the state for illness benefit, the company have agreed to pay him the balance, which is 312 euros. If I click here on benefits, I need to include the 188 euros he has paid as illness benefit, because that is liable to PAYE and then will be deducted from his wages, similar to a VIK, once the taxes have been applied. So when I look here, he's got a gross pay of 312 euros plus the illness benefit of 118, bringing him back up to 500. PAYE, PRSI and USC have been deducted, but the illness benefit is also deducted as well, because that's only in there as a notional figure in order to apply the taxes. If I view the workings, I can see the workings there for the tax, the USC and also the PRSI. And you can see there that only the 312 euros is liable to the PRSI and with the USC it's only the 312 euros that's liable to USC. Illness benefit is not liable to USC or PRSI. So I save that and close. And that is how you process illness benefit.